So in the last video, I was talking about uh, how to use equations, and I want to continue on that theme today with a couple more examples of using equations to solve uh, uh, problems. So uh, one example uh, is uh, sort of a standard question that you might find in, a, in an introductory uh, lesson on, on using equations, and it might be something like three consecutive numbers uh, add up to, I don't know, let's say 51. What are the numbers? And again here we can use variables and put them in an equation to find the answer. So we can say let's uh, let the numbers be and then instead of using a brand new variable name, I know the next number should be x plus 1 because they're consecutive, uh, and x plus 2. And what we know is that x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 equals 51. If I add up these three consecutive numbers, I get to 51. So I've transformed this uh, question from words into a single equation with a single variable. Right? x is the first number, x plus 1 is the second number, x plus 2 is the third number. So this simplifies to 3x plus 3 equals 51, which means 3x equals 48, and that gives x equals 48 divided by 3, which is 16. So the numbers are 16 plus 17 plus 18 equals 51, as you can check. So that's one example. Another example of using an equation to encode a constraint, namely that the numbers are consecutive, or rather, the constraint that the numbers are consecutive are encoded by the fact that I wrote this as x plus 1 and x plus 2, rather than choosing new variables y and z. And then the constraint that they add up to 51, that was this line right here, where I write x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 equals 51, and it brings us right to the answer. Now, let me give another example. Just have a small blackboard here. So another example would be uh, sort of in the same theme. Two numbers uh, sum to uh, 23 and multiply to 120. What are they? So two numbers add up to 23 and multiply to 120. So uh, let the numbers be x and y. And now we have two constraints. We have x plus y equals 23, and x times y equals 120. What can I do with this? Well, if I have two equations and two variables, um, each equation individually is difficult to work with. x plus y equals 23. I can't solve for x. But I can solve for uh, uh, either variable in terms of the other. So for example, from this it follows that y equals 23 minus x. And if y is 23 minus x, I can substitute that in here to get x times 23 minus x equals 120, which gives me 23x minus x squared equals 120, which if I rearrange things gives me 0 equals x squared minus 23x plus 120. And if I use the quadratic uh, formula to solve this equation, which I have covered in another video, what I get is x equals uh, minus b, so negative, negative 23. So 23 plus or minus the square root of 23 squared minus 4 times 1 times 120 divided by 2. This is just applying the quadratic formula, which like I said, <clears throat> if you want to refresh your memory on that, I have another video about the quadratic formula. And uh, this is equal 
to um, 23 plus or minus uh, the square root of 23 squared is going to be 529 and 4 times 120 is going to be 480 all divided by 2 and this is uh, 23 plus or minus the square root of 49 divided by 2. So what does that give me? Use this little bit of extra space that I have on the board here. It gives me that x equals either 23 plus 7 divided by 2, which is 15, or x equals 23 minus 7 divided by 2, which is 8. And indeed, 15 and 8 are exactly the two numbers that uh, work in these equations. They sum uh, 8 plus 15 or 15 plus 8, sum to 23, and multiply to 120. So this is an example of using, uh, of translating uh, our constraints into an equation that gives us a quadratic equation, which we then solve via techniques we've seen before, and still we can find the solution to our problem.